Welcome to the New York Auto Show, which happens here in New York for more than 118 years now already. We're here at the Mercedes-Benz stand, and you can see the four-door AMG GT Coupe right behind me, a car that we already saw in Geneva, but there's a lot more to explore here at the New York Auto Show. The interior of the new AMG C63, uh, of course, looks very sport. We do find carbon fiber and very important, we do find the new steering wheel of AMG and that offers two new control elements here. And one of those offers you the opportunity to directly here at the steering wheel change your drive mode. So that makes it all a bit quicker and of course safer. Very important on top, we do have the full digital cockpit here with a special AMG mode and we do have the new head-up display and that if you tick the right boxes, you will have uh, that system showing you the racetrack while you're driving on the racetrack and it also shows you the braking points as well. So great for driving that car in a real performance mode. Audi presents the brand new Audi RS5 Sportback here at the New York Auto Show. That is a car with a lot of power. We're talking about a 2.9 liter bi-turbo engine with 444 horsepower, 600 newton meters of torque. At the moment, they said they will only bring it to the market in North America and Canada, but the guys in Europe should not wait too long. I think it will arrive there as well. Coming from a European perspective, BMW is not showing anything brand new here at the New York Auto Show. But of course, I have to say the i8 Roadster is always a very nice car to look at. The Volkswagen Atlas is only for America, so we're in Europe, we will not get it. But normally the car comes as a seven-seater. But now, here in New York, Volkswagen presents the Atlas as a five-seater car, as well as a real American car, because the new Atlas is here as a concept, as a pickup, as well. The Jaguar F-Pace is a big success for Jaguar. It's their first SUV and it's really working great at the dealers. Now they offer that car as the super sports version, which comes from the special vehicle operations unit of Jaguar, which makes the sports cars. And that car here, we're talking about an eight cylinder engine, five liter supercharged, 550 horsepower, zero to 60 miles per hour in only 4.1 seconds. So I'm here together with Tobias Merz because AMG is celebrating the world premiere of the new C63. Tobias, uh, what has changed regarding to the predecessor? First of all, uh, it's a facelift. So we worked a little bit on the face. Um, so we introduced the AMG signature grille in, that, in the front apron. Uh, we have a, new, a little bit of new design at the rear end. Um, we changed some error things, very small in detail, but we changed them. Um, it's still a V8. It's still rear, rear axle driven. We introduced the nine, the nine speed, yeah, so the new MCT nine speed um, in the car as well, which gives us improved shift times and a better interaction between engine and gearbox. And uh, we did some refinement. We worked a lot on detail regarding the driving dynamics. Um, it's a little bit more comfort in the car as of now, uh, but it's fast on the racetrack. Uh, you just said it. Uh, it's a rear-powered car. Uh, some of the others, when they talk about performance cars, they use all-wheel drive always. So you said this is because you want it, a rear-wheel power car. Why? And what, what does that make to the car? You know, we have a huge fan community regarding our AMG C-Class, the C63. It's, it's a muscular icon V8. It's one and only V8 in that segment. And it's still, yeah, it's an icon. It's rear-wheel driven. So it needs on a racetrack a little bit of experience to drive it without ESP. But um, it's, it's 
a major part, a very important part in our portfolio. So it's um, it's AMG. So I think that that promises a lot of fun to drive on a track. I'll try that quite soon, I think. Cadillacs are cars here quite see rarely in the whole of Europe, but here in New York, of course, you see more of them. And they do have a world premiere here. It's the CT6 V Sport, so the most sporty version of that car. That comes with a 4.2 litre V8 uh, engine that offers 557 horsepower, 850 newton meters. But very important, that car comes for the first time with a 10 speed automatic gearbox on board. Hyundai is celebrating three different premieres here at the New York Motor Show, uh, but two of them we already saw in Europe. One is the new Santa Fe, on the other hand we saw the Kona Electric as well. But the facelift of the Tucson is something brand new for us. That car comes with a fresh design at the front. We have new taillights and headlights, both LED technology. Uh, the powertrains, they offer two diesel and two petrol versions. Another car is celebrating its world premiere here at the New York Auto Show, which is the new Toyota RAV4. A very important car for Toyota, but as you see, it's not here. So maybe it comes later, but now let's talk about some data. With four meters and 60 in length, it's about the same as its predecessor, but very important, the wheelbase has grown by 30 mil, which means a lot more car at the interior, more space at the interior, because the car also is one centimeters wider. Uh, very important regarding to the engines, uh, Toyota announced that they will only offer petrol and hybrid engines, so no diesels anymore. And very important as well, I heard that they will offer an alternative all-wheel drive, which then works with an electric-powered rear axle. So that's it from the Toyota RAV4. Maybe we get some more pictures later. So now we're lucky. Here comes the new RAV4. It made it just on time. Here in New York, Kia presents its new upper-class sedan called K900. That car features either a six-cylinder with 3.3 or 3.8 liters or a eight-cylinder engine with five liters. And that car comes with a lot of modern technology like LED, full LED headlights and taillights. But unfortunately, we will not see that car in the center of Europe. Now, after that, we had a good look around at the whole show. We're back here at the Mercedes stand, and I'm really happy to sit inside the new C-Class Cabriolet. And I have to tell you, Mercedes shows a lot of very beautiful cars, as some of the other manufacturers as well. But my absolute highlight here of the show is for sure the new C63S, that AMG beast. I really adore that car. Mm -hmm. 